Welcome to Coding with Kids. My name is Kalia. My name is Andrew. Today we're in Edibit. So Edibit is a platform where there are lots and lots of challenges that you can solve using coding languages of all kinds. So today we're at Edibit and we're going to use Python and we're going to solve three challenges. So the, our first challenge is called Are the Numbers Equal? So our um, instructions are to create a function that takes two integers and checks if they are equal. So here are examples. So is equal, which is a function, it will give you the numbers 5 and 6. Is it equal? False. 5 and 6 are not equal. So we need to um, make the function to work. Then there's another exam example. Is equal 1 and 1. True, because 1 is equal to 1. And then there's another one with one and one, but one one of the ones is a string and the other is an integer. So there is a note and it says, if there's a string, the issue return false. Okay, let's see. So define is equal, then we have number one and number two. So this is our function. So we're gonna do, if number one equals equals to two question marks, integer number two, return true. So if one number is equal to another number and both of them are integers, it will return true. And else, if one of them is an integer or um, one of them is not equal to the other, it will do else, return false. Now let's check it. Now it's checking, so there are the tests. So it will give you two numbers for number one and number two as variables, and then their answers. So for the console here, we passed all the tests, and then here, you can see in the test, these are the results where we are supposed to give. There's, there's two, two, they're equal, so there's true, and then there's a one and five, and one is an integer, so it's false. And there's 88 and 88 true, 36, 45, false. Okay, that's our first challenge. We're moving on to the next challenge. This challenge is called Let's Fuel Up. A vehicle needs 10 times the amount of fuel that the distance it travels. However, it must always carry a minimum of 100 fuel before setting off. Create a function which calculates the amount of fuel it needs given the distance. So here are the examples. Calculate fuel 15. So if there's 15, we need 15 um, distance, we need to calculate how many fuel we need. So 15 times 10 equals 150. So, so then uh, we will return 150. So if here, for example, calculate field 3. 3 times 10 is 30, but it says um, it, it must always carry a minimum of 100 field before setting off. So here it says distance will be a number greater than 0. Return 100 if the calculate, calculated field turns out to be less than 100. So here, 3 times 10 is 30. 30 is less than 100, so we need to return 100. Now we have a function called calculate field with a variable called n. So we need a f uh, we're gonna make a field, uh, a variable called field equals n, which is the distance times 10. So that field holds the variable field holds the field we need. And then if fuel is more than 100, then return fuel. So we're checking if it's more or less than 100. Be because remember, the vehicle needs to carry a minimum of 100 fuel. And else, if the fuel is less than 100, it will just return 100. Okay, now we're going to check and see the tests. So the test will give us the, um, the distance. So there's um, a bunch of, there's sometimes there is um, points. And then, so we passed all the tests. Okay, and then here there's a number that is the distance we or we need the fuel we need to um return so here is 15 15 times 10 is 150 so that works but here um 3.14 times 4 i mean times 10 equals 31.4 that's less than 100 so we return 100 okay now for our last challenge it's called luke i am your dot 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 so Luke Skywalker from the Star Wars has family and friends. Help him to remind him who is who. So what? like maybe his memory got a little waka doodle doo. <laughs> <laughs> Given a string with a name, return the relation of that person to Luke. So he's a chart, so in case if you didn't watch Star Wars or didn't know anything, you can see the names and the relation to Luke Skywalker. 
So there's Darth Vader, Leah, Han, and R2-D2. So Darth Vader's relation is father, Leah is, is sister, Han is brother-in-law, and R2-D2 is just a droid. <laughs> it's here, a robot. Yeah. So here are examples. So relation to Luke, Darth Vader. And then when you say, Luke, I am your father. So Luke knows who, how his relation is. And then for Han is Luke, I am your brother-in-law. So let's go to code. And there are functions called relation to Luke with a variable called name. Okay, let's see. So if name equals equals Darth Vader, return Luke, I am your father. So then Luke will be, oh, you're my father. <laughs> but you're evil. <laughs> okay, then we're going to do the same to uh, the other three people. And R2D2 is the drawer. Okay. If name equals Leah, return Luke, I am your sister. And then if name equals equals Han, return Luke, I'm your brother in law. And the same for R2 D two, except but I am a I, I am, am your, your droid, droid or robot. Yes, yeah, so now let's check it and for the test it will only do the four um, members. And then it has the thing that the relation the people need to say to Luke so Luke can remember. Okay, so console. So we test all four uh we passed all four tests and we succeeded. Okay. Well, well that, that was fun and that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. Bye bye. bye.